you've done an awful lot of research on IQ tests and you found that there's a lot of inaccuracies, differences between the, the various uh, uh, tests. Um, what would you like to see happen um, to stop this IQ cutoff point? Well, we, we're concerned about the IQ cutoff point in um, diagnosing people with what we now call intellectual disabilities. Uh, although the definition of intellectual disability isn't just about IQ, it does require at the moment that an individual has a measured IQ below 70. Now that would be great if we could measure IQ to the accuracy we'd say we could measure height, uh, but we can't. Um, the tests will produce different scores if the same test is given twice, up to a 10 point difference. And the two major tests, the gold standard tests, don't agree with each other. Um, the test designed for children will measure about 10 points less than the test designed for adults when given in the low range. So we can't actually measure somebody's true IQ in the low range. So it makes no sense at all to have a definition based on a specified IQ cutoff point. And this is a, a problem in the UK, but it's a bigger problem in America, isn't it? It's a bigger problem in America because of the death penalty. Now, in 2002, the Supreme Court said that it was unconstitutional to execute anybody with what they called mental retardation. What they didn't do was say what mental retardation was and left it up to individual states to come up with their own definition. All states that have a death penalty say that you have to have a substantial um, decrease in intellectual ability and most of those will specify an IQ point, usually 70, that an individual has to measure below. Um, there is therefore a lot of argument in court about how accurate the tests are. But nobody has really cottoned on to the idea that they're as inaccurate as I've found. Do you have any examples uh, of how this has affected uh, somebody in the United States? Well, I think the best example of where error in IQ tests might have been very significant is the case of Teresa Lewis, who was executed in September 2010. Now, she not only was the first woman to be executed in the United States for a long time, but also had a measured IQ of 72. Now, my research has said that you can't measure IQ to the accuracy of two points. You can't measure IQ to the accuracy of 10 points, 15 points. So it was clearly possible that her true IQ was well below 70, and that in real terms, she should have been regarded as somebody who had an intellectual disability and been spared the death penalty. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.